You made it. All right, guys, let's continue our journey with Sebastian here. You made it. Showed in. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. Right, let's go. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Lead the way, Sebastian. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Damn. Never. I okay. can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. Anne, I'm sorry. Leave. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor okay. Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. Speak what airs, Sullivan. Okay, cool, yeah. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, oh, but nothing can be uh, done no, for her. We can't. You, it's only a single player, child. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. 
He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. Ooh. I hope you remember what I've said. Good day. Give me just a second here, guys. Uh, speak to Anne. Let's go to the house. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts Rebellion. of pain are difficult to bear. Cool. I see a chest. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> Action will come, Lucky. I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts. And often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh, dear Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother and me in line. I do miss Hogwarts. But I wouldn't mind being at Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired, I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. We'll go check on Sebastian, shall we? Oh, uh, lucky, yes. It's open world. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. Uh, lucky this is only they should it's not a single be player game. There's no co-op or online. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going but on. I'll tell you what, it's a great single-player game so far. They've been digging for something. Oh, we could do some actions. Up action there, here. on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. Ooh. This way. Yo, so badger, can we run? Come on now. Yeah. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. I will make 
shield. Send them. That was unimpressive. Defender. Ooh, shit. Akio. Send them. I won't let them. Cleases. Give me a second. Arrest the momentum. Descend them. Stop! I'm afraid of points! You are postponing the inevitable! You've made your last mistake. Oh no, uh, you get, you get, you can bring three, three different, uh, friends with you. It doesn't matter what house it is. was a bit more than I bargained for. Rebellion. Think? Also, you went with Slytherin too, mate. The loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, mm -hmm. frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, Lucky an icy voice well, drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Mm. Children Don't should think they be would seen do anything like that. and not heard. A blinding blast followed. Oh, oh yeah, there's, there's a few more skills. There's like probably like six more skills that I don't have yet. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Revelio. Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's why. Good. Revenue. More potions. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Hmm. Revelio. for a buddy.
right here. Rebellion. I don't see here. Nothing here. Repulsa. Aha. Uh -huh. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Revelio. Sebastian, over here. So Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. This well looks familiar. Sebastian! I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? Oh. When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. This, yeah, if you guys watched my first, uh, I think it was part three or four, uh, the seer was here. Hmm, oh, okay. Sebastian. This house did belong to a Hogwarts professor, hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section, with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl, and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I bet you she's evil. I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you. Oh, I've got my broom. Hold on, bro. you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Sweet. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. The pulsar. There you go. Huh, a stairwell. Ooh. Oh. Lumos. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Hmm. Sorry to learn, but long to help. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Hmm. Okay. A journal entry of his adorers. I should hold on to this. Lumos. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Sebastian, you gonna get surprised. I know it sounds strange, but Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. 
This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft, from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Right. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. <laughs> Missing page. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Ooh. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Oh. Cool dealio. Let me see, world map, where are you? Down here. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Hello, Hamora. What do we have here? A demigod. Revelio. Okay. 
Alohomora. Cats, lots of lots of cats. Rebellion. Expelliarmus. Defulsor. <laughs> cool, new mo one stuff, nice. Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the fastest Ravenclaw. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. <laughs> Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. Well, they sit around and hope to be the best. I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. Oh, someone like me. <laughs> I'd say that was acceptable. Brilliant. Ooh, the camera angles. Getting the hang of this. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally, 
I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. We'll <laughs> see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. My father always taught me to keep my wand at the ready. Mind you, it was never the same after... Back from your latest flight? I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, oh, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Nice. Talents. Glad you came. I had the courage to go into the forest. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. Whatever your plans. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aiden passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion, and you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me. And to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. And who are you? 
Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. What? Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden forest. Good luck. The time she never knows when <clears throat> Let's go do that butterfly quest real quick. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? And off we go. Nice, more collectibles. Let's go. Huh. There they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Defender! Incendio! Descender! Revelio! Levioso! Glacius! Arresto Momentum! Levioso! Descendo! Glacius! God. Hogsmeade, here I come. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterfly. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare.
want. Here we go. What? What are you up to now? Not yet. Nope, still nothing. Still can't fly? What the heck? Hmm, I guess they have no flying up here. Oh, now they came. Who lives here? Ah, oh, Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Rebellion. Uh. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Hmm. New stuff for the wand. I like it. Fine now. Hello, Homora. What do we have here? A demigod. Revelio. What, is it not night time yet? I thought it was. Rebellion. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Bard of Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Hello, Mrs. Brottle. Actually, Sirona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Serona, a gem, has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigamold potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Sirona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. 
He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be on my way. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. I hope they know what... This must be the cavern Mrs. Bottle mentioned. I almost captured a grapporn in the... Oh, you're all dribbling over there. Look like you've been had by the flobber worm himself. Still need to visit the cave to find Sorona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll better have a look around. See about the hawk clumps and the box of letters. That's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or we'll fall together. The window. Incendio. <laughs> Revelio.
There's a bunch of these on. Hmm. This must be Sorona's box of letters. She likes it. I should take this box of letters to Sorona. I think that's everything. Sorona will be glad to have this back. Yes, it's open world. Gotta go back up this way. Yep, this is open world, single player, uh, there's no co op, multiplayer, nothing. Good story so far. Sometimes. Descender. Rebellion. Told you not to go down that path. I'm back. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel The fighting? Oh, you just and missed it, man. I found your You box just of missed letters. me fighting the troll. Oh, thank you. I knew I a, you were the one I'll show you ask. something after this. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. All right, Jerry, you want some? see some fighting? I'll show you some. Let me see. Let me get out of town here. Because you can't fly a broom in town. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Oh, can't fly yet. All right, let's go find some endings. Oh, here they are. Here you go. <laughs> Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. Hope you saw a little bit of that. This place has seen better days. Rebellion. Oh, inside and top. Okay. Yeah, fighting's not bad. Fighting's pretty good. You have like slot one, slot two, three, and four. These are all the, the the spells you can use. Uh, I still need like six of them. These are the dark spells. Uh, you can't use them yet.
Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Revelio. Where's the last one? Him, I didn't have an audience for that one. Hey, let's go. Uh, Dre, this is a single player. There's no multiplayer or co-op, nothing like that. This game is sing oh, strictly single player and it has a lot of like good stories so far. And yes, like... I know it's sad, right? It'd be nice with co-op, but no. This is strict, strictly single player, but you get to explore the world of Hogwarts, which is nice. You get to like explore the castle and everything else. It's pretty dope. Shoot, I just got back onto Destiny 2, man. Dink. I've been trying to get ready for ah, that, that new one so coming out, but uh, it's Dink been so long. Dink this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Dink has seen one of these before. Dink calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. <laughs> you and me, brother. mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. It was good, man. It was so, good. Perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Yep, give me a second, Deke. Hey. Let me look at the new fit real quick. And tie gun out, nice. Give me good defense, but I have. Oh, damn. Think about it. Decrease damage to conform to the bugs. Hey man, no problem. Thanks for tuning in, bro. Ooh. I'll go back to this one.
I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. I'm just gonna sell him, buddy. <laughs> we have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It would be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Okay, let's do... Oh, not that one, let's do that. Gotcha. You got one. Oh. Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Everything's all right now. Oh. You can also shiny hunt too. <laughs> I'll look after you. I want the shinies, bro. I managed to rescue a puffskin. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskin. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Ooh, let's go. I'm gonna go get my flying beast now. I hope the beast is a lot faster than the groom. Birds. Safe enough. Revelio.
Oh, Deke. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go and rescue a Jobanal. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. So, let's see. Leviosa works. And then let's do some free spell. Oh no, I need this. Okay. Ooh, I want the green one. There he is. Got him. Professor Howard will never believe this. There, there. Not going to hurt you. Hmm. Cool, cool. I rescued a jobinol. Deke hopes your jobinol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. The best time passes is in the map. Okay. Nice. 
was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Huh. Ooh. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Ooh. Deke thinks you are doing good work here. Brush them and feed them. <laughs> okay, where's the bird? Bird! Come back so I can scrub you.
Nice. Professor Howen will never believe this. I've collected some magical material. Now, Deke can show you how to... First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom, making your clothing more useful in a ver... Why don't you try it, Deke? I'll go and experiment with the loom now. This is what it's for. Gotcha, gotcha. I should try. Gotcha. Now I can boost my gear. Nice. Let's see. Tupendo. Sindo. Let's go. Nice. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful! Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will! By rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Falbottom Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone.
all right guys that's it for the stream i appreciate everybody for tuning in for part nine of uh my hogwarts legacy playthrough uh you can see the rest of uh eight through uh, one through eight on youtube being sunny so it's just b-i-n b-e-i-n-g and sunny s-o-n-y catch you guys on you on youtube and yeah let me know if you guys want me to stream some more and i catch you guys all next time later